All right, now we've got a rat. You remember Dr. Stringfellow from the previous episode of Dr. Stringfellow's digestive system. But here we have the inside. So we're looking at the left side. This is the left kidney right here. I don't know if you can make, I think you can. Um, left kidney, uh, you can't see any, you can't see where the uh, ureter leaves necessarily, but you can pick it up right here. So this little, you can see it kind of in the membrane there. This is the ureter then, and it drains down here disappears behind this. This is a male rat. So on this rat, uh, you have these big flappy things. This is, we'll, we'll deal with this in the reproductive system. That's, those are seminal vesicles. But when I peel back this abdominal body wall, you see a little, little peanut shaped thing right in there. That little, not the thing, not this fat. Not that. Get away. Get away fat. Get away. Okay. But this little thing, doo -doo. okay, that's the bladder. So you really lose track of the ureter behind the seminal vesicles, but they re-enter the bladder from behind. Now I'm not going to show you, you don't have, we're not going to find the ure urethra or the urethral opening on this, so forget it. Just these one, two, three parts. I'm going to switch out with a female rat. Not that they have different urinary systems, just to give you another view. Uh, all right, how's that? Is that good? All right. So here we see same side, uh, kidney. And we can actually get the, a, a pretty clear, there's a the big, oh, this is a big oviduct right there, uh, uterine horn or whichever term you want to use. But I'm going to try and push down. I'm going to get my fat fingers out of there and do this. So now we see kidney, uh, ureters, right there, a really nice one. Uh, and then disappearing back here behind the, uh, the uh, uterine horns or oviducts. We'll peel back this abdominal body wall and way down in here again, you see, I think you can see that, boop, 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 that little thing. That's the, that's the, the bladder again. Um, that's all of the video of dissection stuff we have, but I need to remind you of something I forgot to do the other day and something for this chapter as well. So in the urinary system, which we're just covering, I've covered, uh, pretty much all the terms that I thought were useful, pretty much all the terms in these first two pages. The last page on page 113 of the urinary system, you'll see that there's a list of homeostatic imbalances or disorders. So fill, the, fill that table out. And then what I did forget to mention, because the digestive system was such a big section, I got to this page, I remember, and uh, finished off there. Nope, that's, the, that's not it. Where am I? Ah, there you are. So here's the digestive system. I finished off with this propulsion and ingestion stuff, but there was a whole other page that I didn't mention. So this is uh, the different enzymes that are produced by the different parts of your digestive system. So please, page 120, learn that one. Uh, I think uh, that's all we got. Brian uh, Aguirre on camera, and uh, see you guys next time.